all right welcome to another video on my channel in today's video i'm gonna show you how to get free ssl and uh, ssl stands for secure circuit layer you get free ssl for your website and which is the standard security technology for establishing an encrypted link between a web server and a browser and almost all browsers today if you don't have ssl certificate on your website they will make your sites indicate that your website is insecure, is not secure, and most people, they don't trust websites that don't have SSL certificates. And most hosting companies, they do sell SSL, but these days and time, you shouldn't buy SSL. You should get free SSL certificate for your website, and that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. We're gonna to use a service called Cloudflare, which is the first company that gives almost everybody free SSL certificate. And by the way, the um, one of the importance of using SSL is, like I said, for trust and performance, search ranking boost, and of course security, and most importantly, regulatory com compliance. So you should get free SSL and you should get that HTTPS for your website. So I'm gonna show you everything from beginning to the end. So I hope you like this video. Before you start, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that notification. So let's get started. All right, before we get started, you can go to Cloudflare and read more about SSL if you don't know what SSL means. It's simply um, that secure socket security, which is, you can read more about it and you can see performance security and all that. And we are going to be using this service to get free SSL certificate for one of my websites. So when you look at this website right now, abiololuasome.com, you can see that uh, but that that padlock connection is not secure and almost every browser they give you that i want to make sure that i put ssl on this website so it looks more professional so i'm going to show you how to do that normally you you most other hosting company they sell ssl certificate like namecheap and all that so you shouldn't buy ssl certificate you should get it for free and that's what i'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you from A to Z how to do that using this Cloudflare service. So, like I said before, Cloudflare is a very good, uh, it's, um, it's a website that you can use to get free SSL certificate. And then we're going to get that for free. So you can get your own HTTP and your website is going to look more professional. It's going to look secure and everybody that comes to your website, you're going to see that secure connection and they're going to trust your website. So let's go to Cloudflare and let's sign up. So click on sign up and enter your email address and just enter a good password, more satisfy the requirements more than at least eight characters contain digits special characters just do that and create an account so now let's enter our website so i'm going to use abiololuasome.com and i'm going to click on add sites and now it's going to give you all the options the plan we have pre plan pro business and enterprise so if you're company large companies they always go for the pro business one and then you can see all the core features but all we really need is the free the against the DOS attack and also we also get support so that's enough and then we'll click on the free and then click on confirm plan and now it's going to take a quick scan of your website and it's going to look at your DNS record and you can see the DNS shows that I'm actually hosting this website on Namecheap and now I need go scroll down and click on continue and now it's going to give me show my of course my name server as you can see I'm hosting on Namecheap so and it's going to give me 
the cloud flare name servers that I need to replace on my Namecheap account where I bought my domain. So I'll copy the first one. I'll go to Namecheap, log into my account, find my domain name, and then you see Abel Rasami. I'll click on Manage, and I'll scroll down, go to Name Servers. Then I'm going to replace that hosting. So instead of the name Namecheap hosting, I'll click on Custom DNS, and then I'll paste the first name server then go back to cloudflare copy the second one name server two go back and paste it there and then of course now click on the check to confirm then it's going to take a while to you know to propagate so but for now let's go back to sometimes it takes almost 24 hours but let's go back to cloudflare and let's check if it's done so sometimes you might want to wait a bit click on done and then if you refresh you can see it's your ssl tls description mode is full so but you need to change you need to change that so when you get something like that it means it's done so but we have the, all these different options full so i will use the full straight later on but let's scroll down and turn always use https turn it on then the auto minify is just to for for your website to be very fast so you need to the auto minify the javascript on your website the css on your website and html so make sure you check everything and then the broadly that you can just leave it on it actually works with the page and click on done and now it's going to take you to something that looks like a dashboard and then it's going to tell you to complete your name server so right now it's not actually done so you need to check if it's been pointed to so I will wait a while and come back and check if it's done So, but we can also go to SSL, TLS, and set up, even if it's not done, we just continue to set up everything and come back to that uh, overview page. So the SSL, TLS recommender, recommender, you can just turn that on. And on that page, that's all we need to do. And then if we go to origin server, then this is where we need to create our certificates. This is a certificate that we need to add to our hosting account. So click on create certificate, and then you have two options. Let Cloudflare generate a private key or have your own private key. So we don't want, we want to use Cloudflare uh, private key and their CSR. So click on that, scroll down, and then you see the origin certificate. Then you copy that. Let's copy that. We have a private key and then the origin certificate. We get to uh, certificates and that's what we need to put in our hosting account so if I go to my hosting and then I'll go scroll down under security go to SSL TLS or you can type in SSL just to find SSL TLS so click on that SSL TLS and you go to the down manage SSL sites click on that and this is where we're going to paste our codes, the private uh, key, certificate, and then the private key. So we select your domain. So the domain now is abiola.com. So the first private key, we'll copy it and paste it in the first space. Then the private key, in the second space, and then the third one, I'm going to show you how to get that. So we'll go back. The origin certificate you make sure you copy everything from the beginning and then paste it here and you can see go to the second private key copy the whole thing control C go back and paste it under private key 
and now there's a third uh, certificate authority bundle so there's a link in the description where you can get that so cloudflare has given us that on their support websites and if you go to that link in the description you go under the cloudflare origin ca rsa roots just click on that the drop down you see a certificate code copy that and go back and paste it here and then click on install certificate so that's how to install certificate and it's done the certificate is really updated and you can click ok to confirm that you've installed that on your hosting account so now if you go back click on ok and uh, that's all we need to do so if we go back to overview and you can see now I can have the option of changing it to full because I'm using Cloudflare, which is a recommended one. So I'm going to click on strict, full strict. So if you go back to overview, now you can see it's been connected. Now it's now active. So what we need to do now is continue to, uh, we'll go to page rules. What we need to do in page rules is we want to make sure that all inquiry is directed to the HTTPS. So click on HTTP and then you have that code. I'm going to put it in the description. Then select always use HTTPS. So and just to force and click on save and deploy. So this way it will force anybody that types in HTTP force them to go to HTTPS and that's all we need to do now if we refresh our website you can see we now have the HTTPS but we have a problem it's telling us our connection is not secure and that's because so I want to remove www so I just want www and save and let's go back to my dashboard and we can change that under settings general and i want to wordpress put s there https https and then remove the www the bww that's what i want you can decide to leave yours it doesn't really matter so click on save changes and now it will log us out and we can log back into our website and now you can see so it's secure on the back end but on the front end it's not so what i can do is maybe use the cloudflare plugin so go back and find plugin add new plugin and find the cloudflare ssl plugin then search for that and install the plugin click on install and then activate so go back to ssl because we are using the full straight so that's why we want to use otherwise we could use any other one so let's click on activate to activate that and uh, you can go to settings and we'll link that to our cloudflare account scroll down to the bottom and click on here enter your cloudflare email and then we need to get the API so you can click on here below it will connect you to your you know, Cloudflare dashboard and now you can see copy your email address then here under API token you'll be able to see your global API key click on view so let's enter email first then go back and click on view and then enter your password to view and then it will give you you need to confirm you know that you're human then after you complete this step then it will tell you to it will give you a code so you need to copy that i won't show you that view i'm going to copy the code and i'm going to paste it there once i do once i've done that i'm going to confirm 
and now it's connected so one more thing if you go to then under home you click on apply and then it will be applied then under settings mm, i think it's okay make sure that everything is the way it is that's all we need to do and the other settings need for you to upgrade so that one is on and that's it and let's add one more plugin the ssl plugin let's click let's type in ssl and there are so many so i like this one really simple ssl click on it install and activate so once we've done that activate it and that's all you need to do so if you go back and you write i mean you refresh you will now see that our website has a full ssl connection is secure and uh, it's been protected by cloudflare that's all you need verified by cloudflare inc now we have a full ssl that is free so don't ever pay for ssl anymore so use cloudflare ssl certificate and that's all you need to do so i hope you can you know do this on your own website and get a full ssl and by the way it works for 15 years so you you won't have to do any renewal and all that so that's all you need to do and if you want to add a new site go back enter new then add website and repeat the same process that's all you need to do to get free ssl certificate from cloudflare i'm going to create a, a subdomain and i'm going to activate ssl certificate on that domain so i'll log into my cpanel and i'll go to subdomain and i'll create a subdomain so after creating store.netplustraining.com i'm going to copy that and i'm going to put it in a browser and i'm going to get server not found and that's because i've set up cloudflare on my main domain so i can find this so what i need to do for us to be able to find this and set up ssl on this subdomain is to add the a record for this on cloudflare so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in i'm going to click a add record and i'm going to make sure it's the a record and i'm going to type in store then the ip i'm going to copy the ip address i'm going to paste it here so what is going to be is going to be store dot net plus training points to 162 no traffic process through cloudflare so you only need to put is store and then of course the main domain is netplus20.com and then it's going to proceed through uh, cloudflare and then you click save that's all you need to do and uh, after a while if you refresh it's going to take a while so we'll come back and then we're going to refresh and you see that it's been the ssl certificate has been activated and now we can reach the subdomain website all right now let's refresh that after some some hours and by now it should work and now you can see it's now working now i have https and of course if you click on it you see connection secure and if you click on this it's now secured verified by cloudflare inc and that's all you need to do to to add ssl certificate to your subdomain so i hope you like this video thank you and bye bye